Hey and welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are in Mari and today's topic is painting some graffiti decals here in Mari with the latest Quixel Megascan graffiti decals. So as you can see here the texturing is done so thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs> Sorry for this joke, we will create it from scratch for sure. So here you can see I'm using the node graph. You can use the layers as well. It's absolutely no problem, but I'm using the node graph because it's a little bit easier to share some mask data or some other color data to other channels or other nodes. So yeah, here a bit of spaghetti mess, but no worries. The only part we are focusing here is this one. So we are switching here to the basic mode just because it runs a bit smoother and we don't need the other data for this tutorial. With the one pressed we can focus here on this node and it switches here and boom, we are there. Yeah, the base texture is a little bit dark so I will create a node, a great node, make it a little bit lighter. So now we can see what we are doing. Just a little explanation here. Mari works almost the same like in Photoshop, also in the node graph. Here you have from left to right. In my case, you can also lay out from top to bottom or whatever you like. You have here on the left side some color data, which goes here, follows the spaghetti, and comes into my merge node. Here we can kill this one here. This one. It's, no, it's a bit better to understand what's going on here. And it goes into my base. And here comes an overlaying layer. And here we have a mask slot. It's almost the same like in Photoshop. You have a layer and on top comes another layer. And you have the ability to pipe in a mask. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Just visualized in notes. Okay, so to start I'm using always a color node, which I prefer to put it on red so I can better see what's going on. I can pipe it here in, I can delete this one. You can also direct pipe it into a stream here, no problem, it looks the same. Now we can see the graffitis are red. This way you can easily or better see where what is going on, especially on such edge breakups or some in occluded areas to paint in some dirt. And here we can delete this one. The graffitis are gone now. Let's create a paint node. Here's something important to know. If you have the alpha on zero it will create some artifacts and errors while painting with the luminance mode. You need to put it on one and hit ok and pipe it into the stream. Nothing happens. That's because we need to paint the mask now. Let's choose for that here this one. And with shift and control left mouse button you can scale the texture down. The bigger it is here in your viewport or canvas or whatever it's called, the more pixel data you have. So if you have it here, you have not that many pixels. So keep that in mind. Zoom in on the size you want it and scale it up or down. With shift you can pan it here in the viewport and with control you can rotate it. But here we have some leaking drops so we can't place it this way because yeah that's not how uh, liquid behaves so we need to put it here. Let's go for a harder brush and here we are in the luminance mode. In default it is on no stencil it will paint where it's black in the texture black and where it's white, or in this case red, 
the white information. But if you have it in luminance mode, it will paint only there where you have some luminance value. And that's here, where it's red. Okay, with pressing R we can scale with pressing R we can scale up the brush. And with a white color selected here on the left side, we can start painting. And look at this. We are paint our first mask here. Let's paint it a bit more. And more. More! We want more! Okay, let's call this good and press B for baking. And clear the paint buffer. And now we can see all these little nice details. But I want more. More is always better. Always. <laughs> Not really, but often. <laughs> let's drag and drop another one here. And paint again. And as you can see here, we can paint over and it doesn't appear. If you have it on stencil, it will go. Everywhere where it's black, it will go. So let's Ctrl C, clear it again, and put it on luminance and paint the second graffiti. This is super useful if you paint some masks for some edge breakup or specific auto masks. That's really cool. So you don't destroy the underlying layer of yeah of your mask. Let's call this nice and press B to bake it. Clear the paint buffer. Okay, this looks cool, but it looks too perfect. So we want to break it up a bit. For this, we go and press M to create the merge node. Pipe it into the stream. And let's create a second paint node. Again, just a black node without alpha and hit OK. And yeah, we pipe it into the over. Now it's overriding. Or we can paint it and put it in the mask. And choose a other texture here. Ah, I forgot to mention. To load in some textures here, you can easily drag and drop it from your browser. Here in the bridge, you can type in whatever you want here. Graffiti, right click, go to files and drag and drop it into the image manager. Here you can set up the texture and drag and drop it here into your viewport. Here I have a texture from my texture pack that I released on Gumroad, so you can buy it, 8K resolution, 50 of them. I will put the link in the description. And here we scale it up a bit, place it a bit better and happy painting and nothing is happening. Why? Aha, I know, I know, I know. So, I did it wrong. So you have to put in, uh, out of color node. Maybe there is also another way, but let's pipe it in. And now everything is white over. Let's have a look if it's working. No, try to drop it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now we are painting some white areas. Let's switch it and we can now break it up. Okay, so I switched here to black. So I paint now black where everywhere is a white spot. It sounds strange, but it's easy to understand. Luminance is the mode which is used here in your texture. And as you can see, all the white spots are illuminated. So here will be painted. And here on the left side, you can choose which color. You can also paint some red if you want, but I want to paint a mask. So that's why I choose here um, black value to create some breakups in the graffiti. Now we can paint. Let's call this nice. Press B to bake and clear the paint buffer. Let's say that's not enough. Let's say this part here is cool. And paint in these nice breakups. And bake. 
paint buffer. Let's say this one here is cool and break it up. And I cleared the paint buffer with Shift and Control C. That's how you can clear the paint buffer, or you can set it up in the preferences that it's automatically or auto bake. But I like it this way because sometimes you paint um, some information and you like it, and you can replace it just by panning here in the viewport, or you can clear the paint buffer with the shortcut and paint a new one. Yeah, paint again, hit B, clear the paint buffer, and nice, we have created some realistic looking graffiti tags. Okay, the graffitis are red. It's not unrealistic, but not that realistic. Most of them they are black, so let's go back to our color node, double click, and boom. They are black. You can also create a little color breakup. Create another merge node. Pipe it in. Create a new paint. Let's go here. Yeah, black. Why not? Pipe it into the over. And you can here create as well, again, with some projection painting. Or for such a little thing, you can go to some of the brushes here. Let's go to paint mode. I say paint mode, not selecting. Wait, yeah. And let's say we want to paint some gray value. And nice, look at this. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit too light. You can make it darker. You can also create a new mask for that, so you will be a bit more flexible with just the mask painting, but I will do it now this way. And look at that. You can also create a, a mask for each of the graffitis to have a separate color. There is no, no boundary to do whatever you want, so you are free to do what your brain is think you can do <laughs> or the tool is you, let you able to do and yeah so long story short i hope this was hopefully a tiny bit useful for you and that you can learn something and i thank you for watching and i wish you happy painting bye bye